Hey, it's the Midnight Ramblers. Today we're trying a new app. This is called Inspirobot.me. So I watched um, Jap Septikai play this, and it's a very weird app. So this says, I'm Inspirobot. I'm an artificial intelligence dedicated to generating unlimited amounts of unique inspirational quotes for endless enrichment of pointless human existence. Make that as you will. So basically, this is an AI generated app, and it's going to generate some inspirational quotes that are different. So if you're one of these people that do like affirmations every day, or have a thing for inspirational quotes to get you motivated or to get you up in the morning, this will either be hit or miss. Um, if you want to try it below, I'll link. It's called Inspo Bot. There's also a fearless mode or a mindless mode, which we're going to try in a different video. We're just going to keep it to the one mode. Um, so I guess we generate. The experience of being a decent human being can be a lot similar to starring in a ridiculous sitcom. How cool is that? So, yeah, I mean, there are decent human beings in the world. It is hard to find them. And sometimes you do think that being a decent human being is just simple. It's just, it should be an everyday occurrence, shouldn't it? Um, but yeah, it's like being in a sitcom. Just trying to be a decent human being can just feel like a, a complete and utter daily chore. But that's quite funny. Okay, so this is this is quite a plain one. This is like one of the basic ones. So let's try again. Okay. Those who befriend robots suppress predators. Ooh, and you got a shark. So I don't, won't understand all of these. These are obviously generated from the internet with a quote, and then they've put a picture. So those who befriend robots suppress predators. I mean, look at this shark. Haven't you got a face you could love? Um, let's try another one. People whose answer... People who answer society answer the UFO phenomena, uh, the phenomenon. Um, so I don't know about you, but I don't believe in UFOs or tiny little green men or anything. Um, but it's people who basically answer to the government and society, basically answer to UFOs. Um, I mean, people think the monarchy are like reptilians. I mean, anything's possible in this crazy world. But yeah, people who answer society, answer the UFO phenomenon. And they've got like little starfish next to it. So the, the picture makes no sense at all, obviously, but it is AI generated. So it's more fun. What we avoid, we explore. Now that's kind of cool. That one kind of makes sense. What we avoid, we explore. Um, I like this orangey background. Doesn't it just seem like a hike that would take you into, like, the great beyond of the void? Um, what we avoid, we explore. See, these are really, like, quotes that you could read a lot into, or you could just say, yeah, I guess. Let's move on. Your auntie will love this one. Getting lost within one's character is stupid. So I think in life, we all play a character at some point, whether we act a different way when we're at work with our friends, whether we act a different way when we're at home um, in our close knit surroundings of people we trust and love. I think at some point you can get lost in one's character. Um, I don't think it's stupid. I think sometimes if you feel safer in your little character than you do being your normal self, um, then that's perfectly fine. So getting lost within self and within one's character is stupid. I don't necessarily think it's true. Um, but if you do enjoy being your own character, then act away. You can be an entitled man. You can be an entitled man. There are many men out there, um, not to name names, but a few men that do think they are entitled to everything and anything just because they're a man. Um they're shallow men, uh, vain men. Um, but yeah, 
you can be an entitled man. You can be entitled, but whether your entitlement is is valid is another matter. Show, show how special you are. Try not to think of it as an investment. Think of it as an indoctrination. Ooh, look. Sorry, get got distracted by the abs. <laughs> Try not to think of it as an investment. Think of it as an indoctrination. Now, I don't know what this quote is trying to say. Indoctrinating yourself into something is kind of investing yourself into something. Um, but I do like the fact that this man's got abs. <sighs> With more disease comes more use of words. So basically, it's meaning that the more diseases that come, you make up new words to describe the new disease. And as beautiful as it is to make and invent new words, does it come at the um, unfortunateness of having to have more diseases to generate new words? And I do like the rose and the blush red background. If you sacrifice human sacrifice, prepare to defeat countries. If you sacrifice human sacrifice prepare to defeat countries so this is a very weird background for this um to to defeat a country you do have to sacrifice humans and it sacrifices on both sides um that's pretty much what that says obviously you don't have to read anything into these quotes the fact that you are strong doesn't mean you are not conscious so the fact that you are strong doesn't mean you are, um, that you don't appreciate or, I don't know, the fact that you are strong doesn't necessarily mean that you are, you know, not um, susceptible to feelings, emotions, thoughts, struggles and everything. You are still conscious to the fact of whatever it is that you're struggling from. It's that you are that strong that, being conscious to it doesn't affect you and that is a hard thing to do the fact that you're going for a struggle a situation and you are still that strong that it doesn't bother you necessarily even though it really should do is a testament to yourself you can make um they can make you get into heaven but they can never make you rise above film. That's kind of cool. So although these, they're basically saying, all well, drugs can get you to heaven and make you feel that euphoric, it will never make you break through and rise above what you already are. You, you, you're basically stuck where you are. You mean you can never rise above where you are because no matter how high you go up into heaven, you'll always come back down to where you were, basically. Um, so this is a great little saying that no matter how high you get towards heaven, they can never make you rise above film. You're basically going to come back to basically the same level as you were. Obviously, I'm only reading into these how I read into them. You might read into them differently. When you're eating rats, you're eating bad things. What? <laughs> when you're eating rats, you're eating bad things. Does, who eats rats? Who eats rats? And the picture, the picture is more exciting than the quote. Look at this scary area, the trees, the fog. This is like five minutes from someone breaking down on the side of the road and being attacked by a serial killer or some creature. The pictures interest me more than the sayings, I must say. Eggs contain 100% organic. The rest of it is sodium. I like this guy with the sparkler, with his glasses. He's cooler than the quote. So eggs contain 100% organic. The rest of it is sodium. I guess so. I mean... What else do you read into that? <laughs> Let's try again. So this is a really weird concept. 
Grown-ups everywhere unite for your common goal, putting an end to murder. If only that was true, because if you look into the world, it isn't just grown-ups that murder people, children do too. So it says grown-ups everywhere unite for a common goal, putting an end to murder. Kids murder too. I know it's adults generally that start wars and start this, that and the other. Um, but if you really dive deep into it, kids murder, um, animals murder, humans murder, grown-ups murder. I, everything on the planet murders something or someone or has a connection to murder. It's crazy because it's, it's the same as like you eating meat. You didn't murder the animal, but for it to be eaten, you had to have it murdered. And now you're eating it because somebody murdered it. It's a very dark little hole to go down. A very dark hole. Walk away from your troubles, you won't regret it. Now that's not necessarily true. You can walk away from a decision, a problem, an issue, and you can feel 10 times worse and regret it. You don't have to regret it at that point. You could regret it down the line. But regret is a really hard thing to come to terms with. Sometimes the regret is worse than the trouble you were going through. I know it doesn't sound possible to be more upset about the regret than the issue. But it is possible to actually be more upset and regret whatever the situation is than what was actually happening to you. Tell yourself again and again that you're dumb. I mean, if that helps get you through the day, if you need to be told that you're dumb, you're stupid, and it it sparks you into motivating yourself, learning something, or trying harder, I guess that could work. It's like a, a negative reinforcement turning into a positive. You keep telling yourself you're dumb, you're stupid, and maybe you'll turn and then you'll start doing something and you turn around eventually and say, you know what, I may have been dumb then, but I'm not now. And you turn a negative into a positive, I guess. Uh, let's have another look at another one. Live out your fantasies as though you were a lily of the valley. So this is like a concept of living out your fantasies as though you're like floating on the breeze, I guess, that kind of analogy, like, you're a lily of the valley, you're a beautiful flower floating along in a in a breeze of contentment. Some mambo pambi kind of mumbo jumbo like that, you know. You're you're a log floating down a river in a calmness that's serene. You know, that whole nothing bothers you, you're just floating through life, everything's wonderful, and it really isn't. Life is just not like this. I'm sorry, but it isn't. And let's do one more for this video. Last one. Don't look at a moron. Just reflect. <laughs> okay. Don't look at a moron. Just reflect. So <laughs> this guy is just looking off into the difference going, you know that moron? We're just not going to look at him. We're just going to reflect that he's a moron. So this was in Spy Robot. Now, I don't understand most of these. I don't think most of these have a meaning. The pictures are funnier than the quotes. I'm more invested in seeing what picture they put with the quote than what qu the actual quote is. If you want to try this, this is in Spy Robot. What we'll do in another video is we'll try the fearless and mindless one. Um, I also have merch. Would you believe? Um, but they have a enter mindless mode, and we're going to try that in a different video. Like and subscribe. Give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below your favorite quote, or do you have an inspirational quote that wasn't featured in this that you live by or that you tell yourself every day? Also, let me know. Do you do affirmations, positive reinforcement, inspirational quotes? Do you stare at the mirror and tell yourself you're a dumbass every day? Uh, maybe you do, maybe you don't. Let me know down below. Share all your thoughts and opinions. Go to Inspirobot. Check this out. It's a very weird 
concept, but I think it's worth at least a couple more videos. And I will see you soon for another video. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye, guys.